Good morning and thanks for joining me. Today we're going to make um, just a simple closet divider for um, our closets and I'm going to do it in so art. First I'm going to start out in paint though. So if you don't have paint easy access or you're not sure where to find it, just go into your all programs on Windows. I'm not really sure how to work it on, um, on a Mac, but um, you can go into your accessories and then inside accessories is a whole bunch of tools that we're going to open up paint. I keep mine down here on my bottom bar so it's easy to get to. Okay, so I have the rulers and the grid line turned on this time because we're doing something that's going to go around um, something else so it has to be kind of precise. And I'm not that precise usually. Okay. So that doesn't look too much like a circle. Wish we could do this in percentages. That would be cool. Okay. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close. Okay, so we're gonna do that and then we're going to choose the rectangle. And we're going to just keep the color scheme the same. We're going to do a skinny rectangle. It doesn't have to be that tall. Actually, it has to be halfway through. So halfway through would be almost to 200. Okay. And then we'll go back and we'll get a circle again. And this circle, oops, let's undo that. This circle, let's make sure that it is filled and filled with white because we want it to cancel out the top of this thing here. Okay, so make sure that it can go around your closet bar. I have a really skinny closet bar, so I can get away with making it pretty small. Um, but you know, they're really cheap to make, so make a couple of them and test them out if you don't want to get real technical and find out what the measurements are and stuff like me. I'm kind of lazy. Okay, so we've got the basic premise right here and we're going to get our erase tool and we're going to zoom in. Don't try to do your erasing from far away because it just it never works out usually. <laughs> well anyways for me I have more control up close when things are bigger. Okay, so we're just going to get rid of the top there so that the bar can slide in but at the same time it's small so that it stays on the bar. Okay, and then we're going to get that part off so that there's an opening. And now that we've done that, oops. Okay, I'm going to go back up here and look. I'm going to get rid of the grid lines and the rulers so it looks normal again. <laughs> okay, so that's the basic shape that we need. And then when you get into um, so our, if you want to, you can add um, designs, and if you have Sewit Pro, you can add lettering and stuff, words, and just really cute things. You can just kind of go overboard with it. Excuse me. <clears throat> so we're going to hit select. We're going to copy as close to this as we can. And we're going to crop it so it's all by itself. And then we're going to start over in this corner, get it as close to the edge as we can without cutting into the black. And we're going to hit crop again. Okay, this is what we're going to take into sew art. So we're going to hit select, select all, copy, and we're going to open sew art wherever you have your sew art saved. Okay. And we're going to paste it into SOAR. Now, this is a pretty good size. It looks like it's pretty close to it. I have to resize mine. I'm going to do color change first, but I don't need to. Yay. It didn't have to do any anything crazy. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and make this 95. Okay. Alrighty, so... And here... 
is where you can add, well, you would have wanted to add your pictures in on, um, in paint if you wanted to add things like that or if you have Sewer Pro you can take this design into Sewer Pro and add your pictures and stuff. So this is just going to be a blank simple one. You can do um, with these you can do them in felt. That's what I'm going to use because I love to practice in felt and it's also thick you know and it's very useful. Useful. <laughs> um, so you can uh, do different colors in your closet so that you can kind of see like the reds are here. I mean, you can obviously see it with your eyes, but closet divider just gives it a little bit more classiness. And if you have two people sharing closet, you know, you can have this person's stuff on this side, that person's stuff, you know, it, it's totally nonsense, but it can be really, you know, a cute addition to your home. Or if you have, you know, a shop and you don't want to put, um, the plastic stuff up you can make cute little felt stuff for your shop okay so now that we have it in sew art and we've sized it we don't really have to do anything else we just go right over to stitch image and we're going to choose the applique center line because it's just one line and um, the applique is going to give us the the uh, die line on our on top of our stabilizer and then it's going to give us that and that's going to tell us where to put our fabric and then we're going to put our fabric down and then it's going to give us a tack down stitch and that's going to be the stitch um, right after that stitch lays down you're going to add your lettering then if you want to or if you just have like an initial that you want to put on it and you can do that from your um, sewing machine or from your embroidery machine from the lettering that's already available on there that you can take that stop and go out. So anything that you want to add to it, do it at step two. And then um, step three, you're going to flip it over, you're going to take it off, you're going to flip it over, you're going to spray adhesive the back and um, put some more felt on it. And then, um, then you're going to hit step number three, which is going to sew everything and any design or anything that you put on the top will be cut, the back part will be covered up by step three. So I hope all that makes sense. Okay, so applique center line. I'm gonna use a bean stitch because I'm doing it on felt. And 25 and two are my favorites. But I'm gonna see what 50 and two looks like today, as long as it keeps the shape. I think it'll just be fun to play. Okay, so. With that all being done, I'm just going to clip right there, and then I'm going to clip, click on this over here, and it looks like it did really good. It doesn't look like there's any gaps in anything. It looks like the corners are nice. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close that. We're going to File, Save As. And my computer has been giving me trouble, so I'm just saving everything that I'm not keeping on my desktop. So we're going to save it as a JPG, and it is our closet divider. Okay, so save, and then it's going to bring up our embroidery file. We're going to save it on the desktop under closet divider. Make sure that our pattern size is correct over here, and hit save. Okay, okay, so we're going to open up our windows down here. We're going to open up computer. We're going to go to our desktop. We're going to click on closet divider PES, copy it, and paste it in computer to our removable disk H. Anyways, that's what's for me. Hopefully yours has, you can find yours. <laughs> okay, and so from here, it, I'm going to upload it onto my machine and get started. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Okay, so here's the final result. I'm just showing it to you real quick so that you can kind of see what the end is going to be. Um, I'm going to kind of give you a walkthrough on how to get it onto your 
machine. So once it's on your machine, it'll look like this. If you have an SC425, you push the button and then you push the little arrow up. So you turn it black, your design, and then you push the arrow up. And then it should load up and look like this. There should be three steps to this. So there's going to be the die line, the tack down, and the final stitch. So we're going to work on step number one, which is just the die line. And I didn't pick a contrasting thread this time. I'm really sorry. It contrasts with the black really beautifully, but um, you can't really see it on the pink that I chose. So I'm on step number one, after it's done this die line, you slip your fabric over the top of the die line. And then hit step number two, and it's going to... Um, you can barely see it, but it's going to print out your your top part. And this is what the back looks like. And we're going to use some um, spray adhesive, and we're just going to lightly dust the back. And um, I'm going to use some oil cloth today to give it a little bit of a cuter appearance than what I can get with felt. Um, and it's clear, glossy vinyl, but it's thin. It's not thick like marine vinyl. So that's the back part. And... Um, after it's sewn out, and that's the final stitch was number three. Sorry, I skipped that. And then you cut it all out and make sure, you know, you've got your little triangle in the middle there to slip it over the bar. And there it is. It's all finished. That's the back side, even though I ended up using it as the front side. And there it is in my little closet. Alrighty, I hope this has helped. And um, if you have any other ideas, please give me a call. Or not give me a call. <laughs> Let me know. Thanks.